the conflict is one of words and misunderstanding. Um, allowing a forest to regrow on its own is restoration. Restoration is a recovery process. It can occur with very active human intervention, such as tree planting, but rest, forests can restore themselves if the conditions are appropriate. And the problem is that that hasn't been called restoration. Um, it can be called passive restoration, um, and some people have objected to that terminology, but it really is an important uh, way of recovery. So I think it's as important as planting, and there are many, many areas where planting is not necessary, where the forest can recover on its own, and the effort and money needed for planting should be used in those areas where natural regeneration will not happen on its own. So I indicated some of those questions. They have to do with understanding um, how much restoration is needed, that is um, to bring, uh, to create uh, conditions for increasing biodiversity or for protecting existing biodiversity from avoiding extinction debt. Uh, we still don't have a really good idea for most of the world how much of, of natural habitat is needed um, so that we can actually manage to have productive land uses and uh, also have conservation within the same region. That's a huge challenge. It's not going to be the same answer for different parts of the world and for different types of biodiversity either. Uh, so different animal groups and plant groups might show a different amount. And then decisions have to be made about that. The other um, big question I think we need to be looking at is how to best allocate the, the money we have to do restoration. And that, that comes back to what I was saying earlier about low cost or uh, free, essentially free restoration using natural ecosystems.